Hello and welcome to video four in this series of five using art rollers for the for Donna Downey Studios and the Artist Gang. Um, I am so I've sort of been working on this series of five little panels that look really really good together. This is number four, and I decided that I already had like one that was pink and white, one that was pink, gray, gold, and white, and one that was gold and gray and white. So in this one, I decided that I would do um, something that was pink and gold, and then white is totally a given in this series, so I'm not going to quit saying white all the time. Um, but I thought that I would go with something that was a bit more just pink and gold, and it is a pretty classic color combination, and I feel like it always has sort of like a little bit of a romantic feel to it. So I used some water and I watered down that beautiful rose color of pink and I played with that in the background a little bit. Um, I do put some paint down and then I let that with water and then I let that dry and then I'll put down another layer and sort of like build it up so that there's a little bit of a mottled background. But there was the first one and then here it is after a couple more layers. And then I thought, what if I got out some gold foil? I really thought that if I could make this work, it would be amazing. And I, I almost get there, but um, I, I think I need to experiment with it a little bit more. So my idea was that if I put down some gel medium and I spread it out thin and then I run my roller through it, I'll be able to run the roller on my pa on my canvas, my little wood block, and then lay the gold foil down. So I know that it can work because of the the outcome that I get, but I might have to think of a better adhesive or I'm not sure. I, maybe it needs to be a little bit thicker, but I was worried that when I put the, the gold foil down, it would like squish out if it was a thicker, like thicker layer of medium. So this is okay. I knew this part was going to happen and I just burnished really well and um, I have my little cup so that I can put the gold foil into it because I, I know that that pattern is such a small amount of gold foil. Like I don't want to waste all that extra foil. But so then at this point I'm, I'm realizing that whatever happened it didn't quite work correctly but I can see the shape of the roller peeking through. I can see that it, it was working. Um, I think my gel medium, because it was such a thin layer, it just dried so quickly. And I live in the desert, I should say that. So it is really dry and really hot here. And things dry really quickly. Like I don't have as much work time with my products as somebody who lives like in, in the Northeast or even the Northwest or anything like that. So we don't have a lot of work time here unless we use like a retarder or something like that. So, or make our stuff really thick. So then at this point I thought, I still really want that gold pattern to sort of just shine on there. So I left the gold foil that was there and then I thinned out some of the gold paint that um, from Dina Wakely and I just directly rolled that on there. <clears throat> and then I had, I, I thought, well, what if I, it, it came out um, because I thinned down the paint. It didn't come out as obvious as I wanted. So I just used a small paintbrush and filled in some of the missing areas. And that seemed really nice too. And I, I'm liking it so far. And I think that uh, it would be cool if there was sort of like a gold haze about it. Because make it a little bit more dreamy. So I added some water from my spray bottle and I sort of just let that gold kind of pool up and it's really, really cool. And it does, it gets this like kind of haze about it, but then I still have these really fun like swish patterns in the background and there it is after it's dried. And so the gold foil is kind of peeking through and there's a lot of shimmer from the gold paint and it's really, really nice. And I just scraped some gesso over it in the end to finish it off. And all of these pieces are really like little standalone pieces. They all look really good by themselves, but they all look wonderful in the series as a whole set. And they're just little abstract pieces, four inches by four inches. And I've been experimenting with the art rollers and it's fun. 
I love working in a mini series and, you know, just playing with the materials and really getting to know um, how all the materials can work together, whether they're different materials or different colors, the art rollers, using all the art rollers in different ways. It's pretty exciting. So thank you so much again for joining me. Check out what everyone else is doing. You can stop by my Facebook, my blog, my Instagram. Um, follow me, DD Katrin, on YouTube for more videos. And uh, always glad to have you around. I'll see you for the last video soon. Bye.